I'm Dolly from Incredible India. Welcome to my Vietnam series. I visited Vietnam with my friend Swati Hariharan in the beginning of 2020. Located in Southeast Asia, Vietnam is a small and a wonderful country with victorious history, profound patriotism and beautiful landscapes. After visiting the scenic country, I realized that it's the people in Vietnam that make this country amazing. Join my journey as I explore this beautiful country with its people and culture, which I personally believe should be done once in one's lifetime. Xin chào from Vietnam. We are in this beautiful city of Hanoi that's more than 1000 years old. We are super excited to be here and we're exploring Vietnam with the Sheraton group of hotels. So we are staying at the Sheraton Hanoi and I'll be showing you guys the property and the room tour in some time. So we're going to explore Hanoi which is the capital of Vietnam and then we're going all the way to the south to Saigon. So today's plan is to explore this beautiful city of Hanoi and gain some knowledge about their history and culture. Join me as I take you along this entire day. Today we are starting at the Ho Chi Minh complex. Let me just give you a quick glance. So the building that you see behind me is the mausoleum of Ho Chi Minh. So Ho Chi Minh was the first president of Vietnam and he plays a major role in this country. He almost fought for 30 years for the independence of Vietnam and finally he made sure that they got their independence and he became the president. So as you can see there are a lot of bamboo trees planted on the either side of the mausoleum that symbolizes the unity of the Vietnamese and the love they have towards him. He actually wanted them to burn his body and bury his bones in three different temples throughout the country he wanted to symbolize the unification of the Vietnamese people but the Vietnamese people loved him so much that they didn't want to do that and instead they built this mausoleum for him so you can actually go and see his body early in the morning almost every single day except the Friday I guess The presidential palace was built during the 1900s in French architectural style to house the French Governor General of Indochina. Later after the independence of Vietnam, it was intended to be Ho Chi Minh's official residence but he refused to live in the palace and instead chose to stay in the servant's quarter till his small traditional Vietnamese house was constructed in the same grounds facing the pond. The palace is surrounded by lush green botanical gardens with mango trees that leads to Uncle Ho's house. Now, if you're wondering who is Uncle Ho, then let me tell you that the Vietnamese call their president Ho Chi Minh Uncle Ho with lots of love. The One Pillar Pagoda is a historic Buddhist temple in Hanoi that's located in Ho Chi Minh complex. 
Its unique architecture is that the whole temple is settled on a single stone pillar. If you actually see it from a distance, one pillar pagoda looks like a lotus flower emerging from the pond. According to a folk legend, the king of the Li dynasty was old but had no children. Every day he used to pray to Lord Buddha for a son. One night he had a dream where he saw goddess of mercy sitting in a pond on a lotus and she handed him a son. A few months later, the queen gave birth to a prince. To show his gratitude, the king built the pagoda in 1049. The temple is specially designed to resemble a lotus blossom. Did you know this is one of the reasons why lotus was chosen as a symbol of Vietnam and it's their national flower too. This iconic pagoda is considered very sacred and praying here is said to bring blessings of fertility, health and success in one's life. Vietnamese art has a long and a rich history. They have different types of art forms. While we were there, we chose to explore some modern art forms like the lacquer painting. We visited a lacquer art factory in Hanoi. Lacquer art is a complex and intricate art form. It is extremely time consuming and it's a labor intensive process that can take around 100 days and 20 stages to complete one piece of art. What makes these lacquer paintings so unique is that their look remains magnificent for years and it can last for generations because of the complex procedure that it goes through. These paintings are easily available for purchase in busy touristy areas as well as in well-established galleries in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. They differ in quality with prices starting from a couple of hundred US dollars and it goes into the thousands. The Temple of Literature was first built in 1010 during the Li dynasty as a temple to worship the Chinese philosopher Confucius. Later in 1076, the Imperial Academy, Vietnam's first university, was established within the Temple of Literature. Located within 1.5 kilometers from the Ho Chi Minh complex, this stunning monument covers an area of over 54,000 square meters. It is surrounded by an ancient brick wall with lots of lush greenery and it consists of five beautiful courtyards in different styles. This ancient cultural heritage temple is a must-see when you're in Hanoi to get a deeper understanding about Hanoi's culture and tradition. Vietnam's tradition of ceramic making is centuries old. Their style of ceramics is very unique and believed to be among the finest and most widely exported across the world. We visited the Bat Chang Ceramic Village, which is about 13 kilometers from central Hanoi. It was such an interesting experience to visit this village that started way back in the 14th century. It's a very well-established ceramic village 
the local artisans in this area combine both traditional and modern techniques to create some unique pieces. Since this area is rich in clay, it makes it very easy for them to source their raw materials as well. The best part about this entire visit was, you don't just get to buy these stunning pieces, but you also get to see them do it right there in front of you. The Changkwa Pagoda is the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. It's located on a small island near Hanoi's West Lake. The pagoda was built in the 6th century and ever since then it has undergone several changes throughout the years. This pagoda was also a favorite amongst the kings and the royal families for celebrating festivals and full moons. Standing at 15 meters, the main pagoda is made of 11 levels, while its surrounding buildings include an incense burning house and a museum. <laughs> While you're here, don't forget to check out the sacred Bodhi tree with heart-shaped leaves. The tree was donated to the temple in 1959 by the Indian president Rajendra Prasad. Many people believe that it is a branch of the sacred Bodhi tree where Buddha was enlightened. So day three in Hanoi has been a little touristy for us. We hired a personal guide and we did a city tour. I think it's really important to hire a guide in places like Vietnam, which has like extremely rich and old history. I know you can Google it, but it makes a lot of difference when you have a guide in that particular spot and he or she explains everything in detail. Like you get to appreciate that spot even more. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, it's 4.15. We're going to hang out for some time in Old Quarter, check out a few more shops and then head back to our hotels.